What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have some news about the Anemone and we have some news about Cilio as well. So we're going to get straight into them. I'm going to start with Anemone which will receive massive updates from Coolstar. Now Anemone has been quite a memory and battery hog for quite a while and if you've been using Anemone for a while you probably know that it does suck up all your resources on your phone including the memory, the CPU, the battery and so on. So the Anemone account in here on Twitter announced just a few hours ago quote Anemone Anemone 3.0 will only be supported on iOS 11. Users of iOS 7, iOS 9 will get Anemone 2.5 instead, with updates eventually stopping for that. iOS 10 support is discontinued and iOS 10 users will stay on Anemone 2.1.x. But what exactly is Anemone 3.0? Well, if you take a look in here on the other tweet they posted, he says, quote, Anemone 3.0 will not require Rocket Bootstrap anymore. Anemone 3.0 by default will only theme home screen and the settings icons, dock, folder, badge, page dot, font, compressed asset, HTML and icon effect theming will be optional, user installable downloads and will not be bundled. So this is in an attempt to make Anemone a little bit less clunky and a little bit less, you know, cluttering for your resources and so on. You probably know that Anemone takes a very large portion of your resources, especially when you add themes with of course a lot of items like the dock modified folders badges and so on so what coolstar is trying to do here is to minimize a little bit the uh, resources footprint on your device while using anemone but of course the anemone 3.0 update will only come according to coolstar on iOS 11. So if you don't have iOS 11, you're not going to benefit from this update apparently. The next thing I would like to discuss is also about Cilio. So there is a new website called Cilio.app that popped up in here and up until now it had some sort of downloads available but now it says quote, not a fake site, real news Coolstar and they're claiming that they're trying to help Coolstar and so on. But up until Coolstar made this announcement a few hours ago on Twitter, they were like serving some sort of downloads on that website pretty much making you believe that it's the official Cilio website. Well, it's not and you should never go ahead and download anything from here. It's a Cilio jailbreak application, so do not get anything from here no matter what they change the website into. Coolstar announced just a few hours ago in here that is a scam website and all the downloads on that should not be trusted. The real Cilio is this one in here on Get Cilio on Twitter and of course the same way it happened with Cydia. You're going to see a lot of websites claiming they are Cilio or the official one and so on. You're going to see a lot of Twitter accounts claiming that they're Cilio. The only real one is this one in here and whatever website they're going to create. By the way, speaking of Cilio, they're doing progress in here. Coolstar posted this a few hours ago, quote, work in progress for get Cilio. Unremovable items are the dependencies. And he posted this image in here which looks quite okay. And as you can see, this is how your installed packages will look like. You have the Cydia GUI only and you have the Mojito which is the theme by Dennis Bednarz. And you can remove those in here but you you cannot remove those which are the Cydia compatibility package and the Cydia translations. So this will pretty much prevent you from removing important stuff that can break your device or your jailbreak if you get it removed. A problem that Cydia never addressed unfortunately. You can remove a lot of things from Cydia that are required by Cydia and Cydia would fail to load again if you remove them but Cydia will not give you any sort of warning or it will not prevent you from doing that if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm pretty happy that they're taking the time to polish the application and to make it you know look good and to make it account for the user problems that may occur in the future anyways that's pretty much it with this update guys thank you for watching i'm geosnow until the next time subscribe to stay updated peace out